welcome to Simply Delicious Season 3. My name is Chef Ali Youssef and today I have again invited Chef Dario. Hi guys, how are you? Good? What are you baking today? It looks like baking today, no yes. cooking. Yes, today we do a dessert. No Spe pasta. No pasta today. All right, okay. what are we doing? Today we are making a coffee milk cake. Coffee milk cake, sounds interesting, never heard of it. And again, I'm not familiar with pastries. So show me and show everybody what you're gonna do. Okay, so first things, we are going to make a nice sponge. Okay. Okay, so we are mixing the, we separate the egg yolk and the egg whites. So we are going to put the sugar. Okay. In the whites and the sugar in the yolk, okay? Okay. Let me ask you, yeah. why is this? Why is it separated? And then you will mix it again together, right? Yes, but this one, why? it will be whipped. Okay. Okay. So when it's whipped, we will add at the end in our mixture, it will make the our sponge super fluffy. All right. All right. So let's start straight away. Let's start with the yolk. I always, when is uh, when you start to beat this one, you can see the color is very orangey. Okay. Yeah. When we're gonna realize it's ready, when the color it will become a little bit lighter, okay? That means that the sugar is completely absorbed in the yolk and it's make a nice, nice mixture all together. Okay? Nice. Yeah. So this is, will take about one minute. But as you can see now, it's getting a little bit fluffy. Yeah. And it starts to change the color, it's getting lighter. Yeah, as I see, there's too many ingredients there. When we've done this, you can explain a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Because I think it's too loud, people can't hear us now. Yeah. Okay, now, as you can see, the color is changed. All the sugar is nice and dissolved in the mixture. And we can stop. From orange to mango. <laughs> <laughs> you see, now it's nice and fluffy. Yeah. Okay. So now we can pass to the whites. Okay. Okay, okay we need a, a little bit of towel. Thank you. You're welcome. Just a little bit to remove the excess of the yolk from here. Okay. And then we can start to whip this one. Like the previous episode and today I'm now maybe I become pastry professional but won't say no but wait oh, you I look mean, at me like pastry that. pastry is completely different from the kitchen from my point of view because you know in pastry you need to be very precise <laughs> I hold the recipe I know that's ah. why I'm not into it I love it because it's boring <laughs> I, I like because I like to eat the dessert, you know, as you can see from my shape, you know, yeah, I, I, I like, yeah, <laughs> I like to eat uh, the dessert and also, you know, it's good to have like a final, you know, when, uh, when you have a nice dinner, it's very good to have a, a like finish your dinner or your lunch with a sweeter taste, you know, it's like a little treat, okay? Watermelon will do that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> you're right, yeah. but that's why your shape and my shape, yeah? Watermelon dessert. <laughs> okay, so as you can see now, this is semi whipped. Okay. okay. Okay, now this one we can leave on the side. Okay. And go back on this one, right? Okay. So we are going to introduce inside this one. Oh, the... yeah, I was asking, there's too many ingredients. Yeah, okay. So we have baking powder. Baking powder. We have some vanilla extracts. Okay. Some milk. Okay. I, I, I like to use the almond-based milk. Okay. We're using the Rudolph one because I think it's give an extra kick rather than the normal milk. All right. And uh, and this is for the, our sponge, okay? With uh, a all-purpose flour. This is for our sponge. This one, the rest of the recipe, which is condensed milk, evaporated milk, coffee, and uh, heavy cream and a little bit of sugar. This is, will be our cream, our coffee cream. Okay, there's too okay. many creams. <laughs> yeah. All right. Baking powder. Okay. Milk. Okay. And we put the vanilla extract. Just 
one. We mix a little bit. And now we can introduce the flour. I put slowly, slowly, not all in the same time. Because if I put all in one shot, maybe I can have some lumps inside. <laughs> so I put a little yes. bit. And you will have the floor all over the place. Too. Yes. <laughs> this happens to me so many times that you cannot believe. I think it's very diff different work uh, in the kitchen, in the professional kitchen and at home, you know. So when you were at home, you... Well, um, I don't remember if I asked you this question before or what? not. What? Tell me. What do you prefer in cooking? Mostly pastries or your main dishes or starters? I prefer to work on the savory part, savory part of the kitchen. But I'm, uh, you, the last few years, I'm very, I'm very go into the baking side, you know? So I'm getting very into the uh, bread, pizza, okay. you know, this kind of thing. So I'm getting very exciting because, you know, if you start to, I start to study, you know, I start to study how is the, the baking side, the bakery items, and I get very, 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 like, cu curious about that. So it's, I'm, I'm getting inside this one. But, of course, I prefer to work on the pasta section, these kind of things, you know. Okay, now we have, you see, all the flowers is gone inside perfectly inside our mix, okay? So now we don't need this noisy machine anymore. <laughs> Thanks God for that. <laughs> and we are going to use our spatula, okay? Yeah. So we are going to introduce the whites inside, okay? And we are mixing slowly, slowly from the bottom to the top, okay? You mix it for how long? Yeah, just in, in it to be a nice Mix. mixture. Yeah. Okay. That was easy, no? That's done. It was. Now we need just I thought it was going to be a very long process. No, though. man. No. And now, Virex oven. Yeah? Correct. This is going to yeah. cook for about uh, 160 degrees for about 20 minutes. I always use like a old school methods. After 20 minutes, I open the oven and I put the skewers inside. Mm -hmm. If it's became, if it's come back like nice and clean, means it's ready. Right. Cool. But, but the suggestion is don't open the oven for the first 20 minutes. Okay, so. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of flopping. Here we go, so. We will put nicely on the tray. Okay. Don't uh, cover it until full. Don't put full trays yeah. because this is gonna grow. It's gonna get bigger, right? Right. We'll put it in the oven for at least 20 minutes, yeah. right? And then we'll get back to you shortly. Right, Chef Dario, uh, while waiting for your cake, I have something to do. Yeah. Um, I got coconut powder. Yep. Okay, and I have condensed milk. Wow. Mix it together. Right. Mix it really good. Make sure everything got the condensed milk actually has to be very soft. Yeah. Right. I would say it's almost done. I'll take small pieces, roll them. Meatballs. You would say that, yes. It will go do great. I will put red color 
little bit here and then make it red. This is goes very well actually with coffee. Yeah. It can be a free dessert of sugar free coffee. Yeah, sugar free. <laughs> because I don't do sugar with coffee at all. It's insulting for the coffee, I think. Yeah. Okay, as you see it, beautiful red. Nice. Now, again, make it a bit bigger. And smaller. You know why? Mm. This is what we call homemade. Something homemade should it shouldn't be all the same. Uh, standard size. Yes. yes. Should be like like this. Rustic. Small, big, triangle, <laughs> round, not round. Then we're done with the red. Then we do what? Which color do you have? I, I have a green. Wow. The green is going to add it right there, so I don't use more balls. No different flavors, it's all the same, it's just different colors. Just. I don't know if you did it on purpose, but you're doing Italian flat. <laughs> You've noticed. <laughs> I was going to surprise you. Oh <laughs> right. We take it. Then roll it again. We make Italian flag ball. Italian flag ball. <laughs> It's simple and tasty, just two ingredients. It's just the colors, whatever colors you can add. And you can also add flavors if you want to. Of course. But to me, I won't suggest because the, the milk and coconut has just perfect uh, taste together. Yeah, together, yeah. Yeah, right. I'm gonna put this in the oven also. Not to cook it, just to make it crispy from yes. the outside. And see which one gets ready first, your cake or my balls. That's it. See you in a bit. And here comes, 20 minutes is finished for your cake. The cake is out now for resting. While the cake is resting, Dario, you continue, it's your show. So, the sponge is nice and cooked. Okay, we leave it to warm a little bit, but not cold, have to be warm, okay. but not hot, you know, warm. Okay. And we start to make our sauce, okay? So we start with the uh, evaporated milk. We put some condensed milk. Condensed milk. Then some heavy cream. Super easy, yeah? And then a uh, double shot of nude coffee, the one we have, the special blend we have in Nomad. This okay. is very strong, it's come special from us. Here we go. And then the only things we have to do is just mix it properly, all the ingredients. And we have a lovely coffee cream ready to be soaked in this amazing sponge. So the way we do in Nomad is once we have this cream and we have the sponge, we cut a little bit, like a, a circle, like that, okay? Bring it a little bit. Okay, we cut a little bit like that. As you can see, look how it's nice and, and spongy. Look how it's... Yeah, I okay. see it, I see it. Yeah, play it. Now we use this, we use this one, we okay. use this bowl, because what we are going to do is just soak it, the cream. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this one is a, is a perfect sponge to be soaked, the, the coffee and the cream. So it will be super nice and super light and super... You see? Hmm. 
this the, the, the way is like keep it this one in the fridge for about two three hours before to serve okay because all the cream of the coffee of the cream go will be inside the... go inside and will get super nice and super soft inside so how easy it was you told me that you are not into the pastry but after you seen this this recipe you still want watermelon after your dinner or you prefer something like that be honest <laughs> I'll be honest <laughs> Knife, watermelon, oh. finished. <laughs> that's it, easy. Yeah, we're done? We're done. All right. And that's how, what do you call the cake again? Coffee milk cake. Coffee milk cake. This is how it's been done. It be served after three hours. Should be in the fridge, right? Yes, For in three the hours. Fridge. So all this cream will get sucked in. You cannot have three hours episode. So that was, no, wait, let me open the oven. Let me first get my dish for you and then we end this episode. So that was for today's episode. I've done my, uh, would you call it coconut balls? Yeah, why not? Coconut balls and he's done his coffee cake. Milk cake. Coffee milk cake. Thank you very much for coming here again. Thank you, you. And hope you all enjoyed the show. And again, watch us on the next episode next Monday. And thank you and goodbye.